Hello, and welcome to episode 39 of Sarastro's Star Wars painting series. In this episode, we're going to paint Obi Wan Kenobi from Fantasy Flight Games' Star Wars Imperial Assault. For Obi Wan, I'm going to aim for some fairly subtle highlighting, quite a nuanced colour palette, and some object source lighting for the lightsaber. Let's take a look at the painting stages. I've chosen to prime the miniature black, followed with a zenithal pre shade. We can then paint the base colours, and for the robes, I'll be starting quite dark, to allow me to build up the highlights without the use of a wash. For a quicker, more shade based approach, you could use the same colours and techniques outlined in the Diala Pasil episode back in episode 13 if you wish. I'll then be applying some shade to the face and hair. We'll follow that with the highlights that will also establish the main areas of object source lighting. Our finishing touches will include painting the lightsaber, and since I've chosen to place Obi Wan in a desert setting, I'll be providing a cracked earth base along with some dusty weathering. Let's begin with the base colours. I'm going to begin by painting the dark robes using a 2 to 1 mix of Mornfang Brown and a Cantor Blue. For the paler sections of the robes, I'm using a roughly equal mix of Mechanica's Standard Grey and Steel Legion Drab. Here we can still see some of the Xenothal highlights showing through, which we can build on later when we add our own. For the belt buckle, I'm mixing equal measures of lead belcher and steel legion drab. For the hair and beard, I'm going to begin by providing a base coat of Celestra Grey, over which I'll be blocking in the main highlights with some white. Here I'm applying the grey. And now I'm applying the white. I'm already beginning to take into account both a rough overhead global light, but also a directional light coming from the lightsaber. For the skin, I'm using an equal mix of Bugman's Glow and Cadian Flesh Tone. For the lightsaber handle, I'm using some lead belcher. I'm 
and for the blade, I'm providing a simple base coat of pure white for now. And finally, I'm using Mornfang Brown for the boots. We're now ready to add some shade. I'm now going to shade the skin with some Reichland Flesh Shade. For the hair, I'm thinning some non oil with two parts Lamian medium. This should be just enough to help articulate the texture without over darkening things. The only other areas I'm going to shade are the boots and belt, using some pure Agrax Earth Shade. Once dry, we're ready to begin the highlights. I'm going to begin by highlighting the pale section of the robes by adding increasing quantities of Vallejo's ivory into the original base tone of Mechanicus Standard Grey and Steel Legion Drab. I'm patiently building up the tone in a few thin layers.
Here, I'm using a damp brush to smooth the edges of the highlights. I'm now using some pure ivory for my brightest highlights. I'm now going to tint the area by thinning some seraphim sepia with two parts of Lamian medium. I'm applying this in one or two fairly controlled thin layers. This is to produce a subtle yellow-orange tint, and I might build the concentration slightly at the foot of the robes to create the suggestion of some sandy weathering. The warm tone introduced by doing this will also play nicely against the bluish object source lighting I'm going to introduce in a moment. I'm now going to mix a little Hoeth blue into some ivory to introduce a blue tint to the highlights that are closest to the lightsaber. I'm applying this in thin layers to allow me to affect a subtle build-up of this cooler tone. We can now move on to the darker robes. For that, I'll be gently brightening the original brown and blue base tone with the addition of some scrag brown and then some ivory. I'm starting by mixing in some scrag brown in two stages. For now, I'm just focusing on the parts of the robe that won't be receiving light from the lightsaber. And now I'm introducing some ivory to further lighten the mix. Next I'm going to focus on the parts of the robe that look like they'd receive light from the lightsaber. To do that, I'm going to mix some Hoeth blue with some ivory, then use this to lighten the original base tone in a few stages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
In doing this, we'll be passing through some slightly murky looking grey tones along the way. I'm now boosting the level of blue with some additional Hoearth blue. and I'm going fairly bright for the parts of the sleeve that are closest to the blade. Just as with the pale robes, I'd now like to provide a warm boost to the parts of the robe that aren't being hit by the blue light, once again using some thinned seraphim sepia. and I'm going to boost the blues of the object source lighting by thinning some Gwilliman blue with a couple of drops of medium and applying one or two thin layers. As one final optional touch, I've also chosen to brush some Drukii Violet into the lower shadowed portion of the robe. This is just to add some additional richness and variety. With the robes complete, I'm now going to highlight the skin and I'm starting with the original mix of Cadian Fleshtone and Bugman's Glow. I'm now going to use some Cadian flesh tone mixed with a hint of Hoeth blue. and I'm now going to lighten this with some additional Hoeth blue along with some white.
you can see that I'm pushing the contrast quite far. I'm now going to highlight the hair with some white mixed with a little of the Hoeth blue. For the parts of the hair that aren't lit by the lightsaber, we can use something like Celestra Grey. To finish the face off, I've chosen to thin some Drukey Eye Violet with an equal measure of medium, and brush this into the shadows to add some vibrancy and boost the contrast. and I'm providing a couple of final highlights to strengthen the look. We're now ready to add some finishing touches. I'm now going to paint the lightsaber, and have chosen to provide a fresh base coat of white mixed with a little Stormhost silver. This is to provide a subtle reflectivity. I'm then going to simply apply some Gwilliman Blue in a few layers. With this first application, I'm covering the entire blade. I'm now brushing off the excess with a damp brush, especially from the top side of the blade. I'm then applying another couple of layers just to the underside to create a simple gradient. To reinforce this, we can reapply a thin layer of the white and silver base tone on top. With that done, I'm now going to thin the glaze down to give a slight boost to the level of blue in the object source lighting to better match the tone of the lightsaber. Next I'm going to provide a couple of touches of ivory to suggest the whites of the eyes. Although the eyes are so small, there would be nothing wrong with leaving them alone. I'm now going to provide some texture for the base, and I've chosen to place Obi-Wan in a desert setting, and will therefore be using some Agrellan Earth as described in previous episodes.
Once dry, I'm shading the cracked earth with an equal mix of Agwax Earthshade and Cassandra Yellow. I'm also going to thin this with a little medium and add some additional dusty weathering to the lower section of the pale robes, once again pushing the contrast between the warmer and cooler tones on the figure. For the dark robes I'm going to use some thinned Talon sand. This can be built up in a few layers depending on how strong you want the weathering to be. I'm now brushing a little Agrax Earthshade into the shadowed portions of these weathered areas. And finally, I'm lightening the Talon sand with a little ivory to accentuate the raised peaks in the fabric. And this completes Obi-Wan Kenobi. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the episode. If you do like my work, then please be sure to subscribe and feel free to follow me on social media, the links to which you can find in the video description below. My very sincere thanks as always go to the kind patrons who are crowdfunding this series. I simply couldn't produce these without their help. Join me again soon as we continue painting miniatures from Star Wars Imperial Assault. Happy painting!